Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Hey, we have some new colors this evening. We have Unicorn, which is a brand new TLP. I think the release date is March 31st. And we also have Crescendo, which is a lovely, these are um, shifting pigments. I'm also, we do, I have this one, but I'm not gonna use it in this particular one. This is Flamingo, and it's also a new TLP. Um, the other colors I have are, this is a combination of golden Prussian blue with TLP in Waterfall. This is TLP in caramel drizzle. That's the consistency. It's very, very thin. Once again, introducing Unicorn. This, I mean, I don't know if you can see the shift on that. It's absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. This is Modern Masters in Champagne, and I have added both ore and Harvest Gold to it. Beautiful shade. We also have TLP in Parakeet, one of my favorite greens. Sometimes you have to, look, like, especially when you're just ready to pour, you need to just mix them up a little bit to make sure that there's no sediment at the bottom. <clears throat> also, there, here is the crescendo again. Just gorgeous. And I do have, this is golden in permanent violet dark. And I've mixed in a little bit of Australian Floetrol with this. So I'm gonna use that as an accent color. I was gonna use black and I decided not to. I have pinned, taped, and sprayed the back of my canvas. I'm gonna try and get you guys straight. Um, <clears throat> and I've also prepped the edges with just a little bit of the Artist Loft Soft Body straight out of the bottle. Just so that my edges, if there's anything that goes over, it's, um, I'll keep the design. This is a 16 by 20 canvas from Hobby Lobby. And it's a kind of like a level two. I also have my white pearl mix. And I'll leave the, um, the recipe. Oh, this is seeming thick. I'm gonna put just a ton of water in here. You have to make sure that it's really thin very important. Yeah, it's got to be like milk. So what I'm going to try to do today is put some of the lighter colors in through here, the darker colors on the bottom. But what I'm going to try something different. Um, I'm going to put a layer of the pearl mix down for the darker colors, then put the darker colors on. But I'm only going to put the lighter colors on directly to the canvas. Then I'm going to flood the whole canvas with the pearl mix and tilt it off. So let's do that right now. Just the bottom. already which is good and then I'm going to put these colors on directly to this canvas here how do I want to do this it's a little bit different than what I've, I'm used to doing but I like to try different <laughs> 
as you guys probably already know. And I'm gonna put this gold right in the center between these guys. Parakeet, so I, they do have their own names, just like we do. And then I'm going to put the crescendo. Uh, do I want it? Where do I want it? I'm going to put it, yeah, I'm going to put it here. out of crescendo. So, um, let me just move it back and forth first. I am going to be participating in the Indie Craft Show, which is, it's more like a, an art show for artists and crafters. And that will be April 1st at from 12 to five, if you happen to be in the Fort Lauderdale area, it is at Backyard or Stash. It's gonna be an, an indoor event. Um, I was going to do the Dania after, or the Dania um, Seafood and Arts Festival, but they're charging for it now. It's not a free event anymore. And a lot of people are going to be boycotting it so I decided against it. Also there were no street uh, spaces left so I didn't want to be in the park because if you're in the park you have to cart everything in and not to mention um, if it rains it's a mess. It is just a mess. All right, so now I'm going to put down, I want a little bit more gold too. Maybe I'll put some more blue. I wanna save some. Although I didn't save the crescendo. Oh, I got a piece of water in there. A piece of water? It's off my hands. I didn't know water came in pieces. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh lordy lordy, I'm over 40. Okay, let's see what this brings. So now I'm going to put this over top of everything and then move it around. All right, here we go. Oh, looks like we've got an area well, I don't know if it's gonna be tilted off or not. These colors are already starting to bleed through, which is what I want. I use Rit dye to make this happen with the TLPs and it um, it's not the synthetic kind though it has to be the regular red dye not synthetic because if it's synthetic forget about it it doesn't work I tried it saving you the time saving you the money you can get the red dye the bottles of it for $2.99 at Hobby Lobby and they have a very nice selection of colors. So I just basically take a similar color to my pigment and put a pipette of the red dye in to make the colors blend like they do. All right, so, ooh, that's pretty. Now I'm going to use my hair dryer and instead of using the Berta, I'm going to use my bigger, bigger dryer. I have some leftover blues here that I can put on. Look at, see the colors coming through. That to me is just so special. 
I love paint effects. Putting that aside, getting my big one out, and it's going to, oh geez Louise, I'm all tangled up here. It's going to be on high fan, no it might not be high fan. No. On the contrary, it's not going to be on high fan, it's going to be on medium fan and cool. Wow, and a half. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or two before I do any kind of, oh my goodness. Any kind of enhancements to it. Holy crap. I don't know that I want to do a whole lot to this. Oh, there's a few things I want to do, especially with this. I'm kind of liking this the way it is. The sides are beautiful. So it's starting to develop. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pearls, but that's not, it's early. Sometimes if your pearls develop too quickly, you end up with a mess. So it's kind of good that they don't develop right away and um, you have an opportunity to play with it a little bit. Um, I'm really liking this though. Oh my. Yeah, I didn't want to put the pink in. It just wouldn't have gone well, I don't think. I'm not sure. This kind of looks like a sky. And lavender field. That's what we're going to call it, lavender fields. Now I am going to take a little bit of the blue, the dark blue, and then maybe a little bit of brown. And I'm going to blow with my mouth. This is the ball gown that I forgot to use earlier. It really makes some nice cells. The pearls, pearl cells.
oh my lanta okay I, there's a little bit too much paint in here so what I'm going to do is just take this and just I love it. All right, I'm gonna put some across here too. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Wow. And a half. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. All right, um, I might put you on time lapse for a little bit and I'll be back. back this is I think one of my favorite pieces of all time I am so happy with it that's the unicorn right there it's so gorgeous and the 
these colors are perfect together. I was kind of worried about the, the purples and the greens, but look at that. I mean, the green's popping through and it looks so pretty. And that's the crescendo and more of the uh, unicorn right here. And I'm glad I mixed up the ore and the um, harvest gold in that champagne. It really turned out pretty. Yeah. I like these colors. I'll be using them again. And then the sky, like, <laughs> I don't think I could have planned that better. And it was just quite by accident, I'm sure. Real cool. And then of course that negative space right there, I love the near negative space. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Beautiful pearls. Beautiful color blending. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I'm happy. So please be safe and create. Please like, share, and subscribe. And ciao for now.